Mona. I married an American. I met him when I was pretty young. I was only 18, barely turned 18, and um, he was six years older than me. And we talked like we didn't have. My family didn't have a phone for a long time back home, so we did letters. I like letters, a lot of them. You met in Moldova. Yeah, we met in Moldova, and then we um, married in Moldova in 2003 in September. We had a beautiful wedding, and then it took me a year and a half to get my um, my visa because the first time I went for the interview the embassy in Moldova they did they denied visa for me even if I was married to an American citizen then I had to apply again and this time we apply in uh, Bucharest Romania so the second time around in Romania they gave me visa so that was like a year and a half after we got married like doing papers learning stuff and doing handwriting and numbers test. And what do you like best? Recess and snack. <laughs> do you speak Romanian at all? Uh, <laughs> the best I know. Okay, the best I know. The I know. Not the bună. Not the bună I know. I will have double citizenship, Moldovian, and I'm not giving up my Moldovian one, and I'll have American. And um, I'm right now I'm studying the civic, like American history is what because I have to have that. If you would get an American citizenship, how would that change your being here, your work, your studies, your life in the United States? Well, I still can live and study and go and work here, um, but to vote, you know, in the election, that which I would love to do. And with all the privileges that American citizen get, I will get. And being a while, so like going to the bathroom. Oh yeah, like, for you, you, you take your time, of course. <laughs> Am I good? 140 over 80. All right. You are the best. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I missed her. She is an absolute sweetheart. We give each other makeup tips. I got her her first eyeliner. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that she's from Eastern Europe originally? Oh, yeah. That's why I have a hard time understanding her. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, a, it's an opportunity for everybody to actually do what they want and not be limited because of their race, um, sexual, male or female or whatever. They can just be whatever they want and um, do the best that they can. She's excellent. She does a really hard worker, and um, the patients love her. Um, they're always excited to see her, and she brings kind of humor and expertise to work. So we really love having her. I think it's great to have foreign people come here and make their contribution to the workplace and the economy. Yes. And how do you feel working with, you know, people from totally different environment, country, background? I think it's interesting. You get to learn new things about different countries and ways of living. Quality is better here in the States. Because of the equipment or yes. because of uh, technology? The technology, the education, um, everything, yeah. And I do understand back home they don't have the money to to buy it. Um, we have insurance, but also it's much, we pay more, more money here than we'll be, pay back home. But to be honest, I'd rather pay more money to do it here than to go back home and something to go wrong and, um, you know, and not to get any help. Um, I love Moldova with all my heart because it's my country, but I'm here and this is my home. Here is a hospital, Tempe St. Luke's, right there. I worked there for a year and a half. I worked um, as a nurse, as a medical assistant. Um, I worked. Um, that was my second job. I worked at a different place, my full-time job. And this one, this one was my part-time job. Hey, let's go. I got my bike. 
like I can't ride it because it doesn't ride in the grass. Why not? Because it doesn't ride in the grass. Come on, come on, come on, push. What about the album, the chickma? It's funny how um, Alvin keeps a bird in his house. That's funny. Yeah. Yes. And, and also on Alvin, um, on TV, on Alvin's TV, um, somebody said to, uh, on Alvin's TV, what an idiot. What an idiot. Because I want to teach my kids um, about their uh, sexuality, uh, this, um, about um, same-sex relationship. That's, I think it's my responsibility to teach them, not the school. Um, and if I want to teach them about that, you know, I will. But in, in, in public school, they are forced to learn about this kind of stuff, which is not okay with me. The teachers, I know all of them and I trust them that to be that my kids to be around them, which in public school I really don't because I don't know who is teaching my, my kids. I hear so many bad things happen between teachers and students in, in the public school. And I'm not saying that public school it's bad. I'm saying that it fits better for me to get my kids into a private school. Ha, ha, ha. 